Hello and welcome to Our Road to Camelot. As luck would have it, last week as we were getting plans for doing all the final prep and all the final repairs we had to do, the air conditioner decided to make some noise, throw a breaker, and shut down, and then just start humming and making noise and not really doing anything. So we'll get into this whole air conditioner issue right after this. Well, what we discovered last year, we had a similar problem uh, almost exactly a year ago. It was similar, but not the same. The motor actually went out in the bedroom air conditioner and we had the motor replaced when we were back in Shipshawana. Yay, we get air tonight and it's only supposed to be in the 60s. <laughs> well, this time around, it's the living room air conditioner. It's not the exact same noise. It's more of a hum. The fan will still spin, but no cold air. Well, I did some research and discovered that the capacitor very possibly went out. It went bad. And I had my little test meter, tested it out, and I'll show you what it looks like on a bad capacitor. Um, so it is a bad capacitor. The good news is it's only about a $15 part on Amazon. The bad news is no one in town had a capacitor and I had to order it on Amazon and it just now came in a week later. So I have the new capacitor here and I'll put it up on the meter so you can see exactly how it's supposed to look when you test to see if it's bad or not. All right, so when you look at the cap, you have a little letter C right here. This one is perm, and this one reads fan. And the C is common. If I hold the black lead to the common and touch the herm, there should be a spike in the meter and nothing happens. Same thing if I touch the fan, nothing happens. I've got the new one here. It's, it's, the specs on this are exactly the same as the other, though it is a little bit larger capacitor but the specs are identical. But if I go ahead and hold the lead on the, the common, and you see when I touch the Herm, it spikes and it goes back down to one. So a spike and down. This one will do the same thing, spike and down. So that shows that this one is good and this one is bad. So I'm gonna double check to see if this will actually fit. Um, it's like I said, the specs, when you read the specs on the label, they are the same. In fact, when I first pulled it up, the specs off the box were identical to what I had. So I'm hoping that this is going to be fine. I looked at the measurements, and when I looked at the measurements online, this was supposed to be basically the same diameter as this, but it's definitely not. So we'll see if it, if it works. If it fits, great. If not, I might have to return this one. But at least we know exactly what's wrong. It is the capacitor. Now, the one thing I do want to mention as well, when I first went up to remove the capacitor, I took a picture of the way the wires plug into the capacitor. So when I put the new one in, I just follow this diagram and everything should plug in the same. All right, so it fit barely, but it fit. So let's go downstairs, put this thing back together and fire it up and make sure it's working. And if that's the case, one more job down. Here we go. Okay, here it goes. Ah, yes, no! I feel cold air. Woo! Thank you, <laughs> Lord. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, oh and God. notice Damn. the desk is gone. Next job, getting that table and chairs back. Until then, this will be this video. I'm not going to do any more other than that today. <laughs> so oh make God. sure that you uh, subscribe and hit that bell and let you know when we post every Sunday too. Two thumbs up for good measure oh and see you on the road. Salon shot.